YouTube, it's Brian Phillips back again with an update on the build. We had kind of a crazy week, and uh, but a lot got done, a lot got finished, and then some new stuff got started. The painters took a long time. I think so long that they might have been doing it for free, but... <laughs> anyway, you get to see what you think of it right now. So this is our main collar. It's uh, Sherwin-Williams alpaca, which is kind of like a grayish, and it's not a lot darker than our walls. My wife is still uh, trying not to be hitting it much. <laughs> and we've got lots of touch-up stuff going on still, which is surprising to us, but what are you going to do? Apparently normal. Apparently that's normal, from what we've been told by the people that were paying for this house. So, uh, the trim got done. We really like the way it turned out. It's super pretty. Um, the, there's crown molds still yet to go on in the kitchen. And then they measured for countertops. And when we're done with our video, we're gonna, we're gonna work on getting our pantry shelving done. That was one of the things that we decided to take on because we figured that our caliber of home, we don't wanna have wire shelf in, in this house. So, nope. but that's, I mean, that's fine if you like wire shelf, but we, uh, we have a pantry we're trying to replace. So we'll just give you a quick walk through uh, the office just to show you the alpaca. They did paint the doors. Still haven't scraped them though. Still not scraped. And I'm not really sure if that's like the builder does that or if they just like wait till we move in and- We do that. We do that. We'll do a video. We'll, yeah, we'll <laughs> do a video about how to scrape a, a window. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so there's there's some items there's some items in here. The electrician and started. We made labels for all of our boxes, so we're gonna try to kind of just protect those things. We really like the way that the uh, dark hardware goes with the doors. Uh, I don't know what white they used, but I do know that we got brushed or, or a bronze. The white is like alpine white because it matches our kitchen cabinets. Yeah, and so we'll just keep coming out and check out the rest of it. Careful you don't fall. Yeah. Um, but these details turned out really nice. Obviously there'll be glass here at some point, so no more flying helicopters through them, unless I go really quick. <clears throat> and then around here, this is the pantry that we were talking about. Obviously we've got um, the pocket doors, which match. Our plans for the pocket doors are to be open most of the time. And then the transom, of course, will be light. That's gonna be a regular clear glass and then clear glass so that I can be part of the family event with the door shut and not do anything. <laughs> we put in here um, these shelf cleats. There's going to be a plate that goes here, and we're going to have shelves that go around. Megan's standing where the fridge is, and if you want to just kind of come around here, we've got the fridge is going to go here, microwave will go here, and so we've got one shelf that's going to be 16 inches deep to receive a microwave, an over the range microwave. And then we just have to steal some power off of, we have two circuits for microwave circuits in here and then just the regular circuits for everything else. And then I think we're gonna fill in this small small piece here and there'll be two 16 inch shelves on the bottom mm -hmm. and then 12, 12, 12 inch deep. So, and then these ones are gonna be, we're gonna steal a little bit of the depth to make this piece. So they're gonna be like 10, 11 inches. Yep. And that way we preserve some of the useful cabinet space for uh, countertop space, rather. And that'll have matching countertops yep. and... Quartz, we're doing quartz. Do you remember the color? Gr granite in the kitchen. Oh, granite. Granite in the kitchen. And we're doing quartz in the bathrooms, which yep. some of you are going to think you're nuts because quartz is awesome. Well, it's not bad. It's just not what we wanted because we looked into it and we figured we want the heat resistance of granite. We we got granite in our house. We love it. We never yep. had a problem with it. Shh, don't tell. Shh. Anyway, so obviously the stove's going to go here, the microwave's going to go here. You guys have kind of seen this. Crown molds yet to go on. The mud room has yep. some new stuff going on. Um, same. I'm sort of careful with these doors right now because there's a, a keeper that goes on the bottom that guides the door open so it doesn't bang into the casing. But this is the way the flooring is going to look. Um, so this is a tile that's made to look like wood. And then obviously in here, the half bath. Um, all this is an alpaca on this half of the house and then the hallway. And then we'll show you what it looks like in the, the other half. The, uh, obviously the toilet's gonna go here. This door is still a temporary door, but our frame is 
the permanent frame. They've got to replace some hardware because they painted over all of it. And our doors are actually out here in the garage. So they'll match our interior doors. We went to some fiberglass doors with the deadbolts. And yep. so obviously the temporary door here will be one of the two. And then that other one that's in the middle was a pocket door that got screwed up. Pocket door so that was just, just like bent. Yeah, it was, kind of weird. It was warped. So as you can see, the, the cubbies turned out. We really like the Super cubbies. Super awesome. Awesome. Very. Our builder did a really nice job on that for us. And uh, we had worked with them, especially with this part here. Um, Megan and I were trying to preserve this this detail here, even though it's it's totally just you know completely superficial. But we figured we get all the storage we want, we keep it feeling airy, and it just it turned out great. We, love we can put things. like off season stuff up there that's out of the way. Yeah. And then this bench is stained oh, yeah. the dark color, but it's covered up. It's covered. We'll show you the color out there get, actually. Yeah. Because we have uh, uncovered. In fact, let's do that right now. It's so uh, they got the stain onto the cabinets that's always fun but you can kind of see oh and then oh, we the also have railing. the stairway railing yeah the stairway railing is also exposed on one section we would show you all the fixtures but they're in boxes with labels that have all our contact info on them for the electrician so this is what it looks like i want you to give them a closer look um you guys haven't seen this yet but uh we mixed uh kona and mm. espresso espresso 50 50 and if you've ever used it's a verithane product we were really happy with it, but the Kona is like super thick, like syrup. And then the espresso is like water, like a more typical stain. And so to get them to mix, they're both an oil-based product, but they, they didn't mix great um, just because of viscosity was so different between the two. So if you do it, it goes a long way. It's because it's very dark and it soaks up in like the second, third, fourth, fifth coats. We just tried to see if we could darken it at all. Can't really darken it. So we wanted to go with a smooth finish. Uh, excuse me, with a gloss finish. So that's what we're gonna do. And ironically, we're using, this is poplar. We're gonna use pine in there because pine is like about a third of the price. And the reason we ended up with pine was because if you go and look at melamine, uh, melamine, which would be like a chip fiber board, some sort of mixture of uh, fiber board or chip board. And then they, they nose the edge with uh, a veneer. It's usually very low quality. It's hard to get a good finish and it's extremely hard to cut, especially if you have to cut lengthwise. You're almost guaranteed to ruin the edge. Of course, then you can put a toe kick or some sort of nosing on there if you want. We just decided it would be a lot easier to go with something like this because you get so much more board rigidity. This is like a glued, edge glued pine. And we did some testing and we figured out that the, the stain takes almost exactly the same. And so we'll do a 50-50 mix and then we're going to poly it with a triple coat barthane uh, water-based. Yeah. Even though the girl told us to use oil-based. We were like, okay, we'll do that. <laughs> she didn't seem to know what she was doing. So it was okay. Um, we'll give you a shot of that next week. But for now, we're running down the bedrooms. Let you see what you got going on. Oh, and then, uh, of course, we've got these cleats here. Um, these cleats, see, not painted. Painted. Oh, they're not. These are going to go um, onto that wall and then the shelves will sit on the cleats. So these are just the extra ones. And then- uh, Those are the laundry. These ones are for inside the laundry room. Yep. So they're gonna go up onto the, onto the of the cabinetry and things like this. So it's gonna look really good. Things are starting to come together. I love the way that the paint looks. Megan's not crazy about it. But in the bedrooms, we use a Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt. Yep. Which is, I want you guys to just see it down the hall. This color is crazy morphing style so color. So hard to see. And what's gonna happen is we'll walk you down the hall. Of course, uh, pocket doors. Oh, let's show this. Barn this doors. This is where we're gonna do, yeah, barn doors, sorry. This is gonna be how we're doing our audio video shelving. So we're gonna have holes drilled up and down the length of these. And we've got a uh, Smurf tube for pulling HDMI cables and things like this for later on if we do a flat panel TV or something like that on the wall, which we did two different positions, a high and low position, and the Smurf tube just passes by all. So this is gonna have uh, four poplar shelves. We're gonna go for the more expensive material on this because it's not as big, and it's gonna be kind of a focal point. This door will pretty much be open unless we have visitors. Same thing with this one's gonna be a coat closet, so nothing really too fancy. We did go for painted white shelves. I think they, they took care of us on that. Um, I mean, we spent a few hundred bucks on, on going white in the master bedroom and then the 
boys Boy bedroom because we just thought it looked so cool and it's a lot of work. Those guys did tons of work. Yeah. So it looks green, but if it was cloudy, this color would look gray or if it was a, a flashlight, like a 5K light, it would look really gray. And then sometimes it looks kind of blue. But as you can see right now with the sun shining on the wall, the exposure probably gets totally screwed up. It does. <laughs> but here, how about if I stand in the way of it a little bit? It looks green. So I think it looks really cool. And then this is how the, the closet turned out. It looks just like this in our master. Um, we did the sea salt in the master bedroom, uh, both kids' rooms and the kids' bathroom. But the laundry yeah. we did as the uh, alpaca. So. And that's Sherwin Williams, if I didn't mention it earlier. I thought I did. Yep, I think you did. Same thing in the linen. We just did white shelves, but we painted the... The cleats the are... The cleats are the alpaca color, yep. which I felt like that was a good compromise for the painters because then they didn't have to tape off all the cleats because you're not going to see the cleats, you're going to see the shelves. Yep. And it looks great. Uh, same thing, laundry. We did tile because obviously if you get a, you know, a leak or something, one thing I'm kicking myself for, didn't do a drain, probably should have done a drain, but we just didn't. So, I mean, we have a drain here, but not a drain on the floor. They painted our cabinets. <laughs> they Several put, times. They didn't put bumpers on them, so they were stuck. So, they painted them white, because these were antique white. The outsides are painted, and it looks good. It's kind of hard to see, I know, because it's dark, but alpaca here. There'll be one cleat that goes across, with one support. And then cleats along the sides, and then there'll be a single shelf, which we are probably, I don't know, we're probably going to have to stain that one too. I even think about that one. Yeah. Because it's not painted white. So, and then we're going to do crown mold up above these. Um, we did do an exhaust vent and a, a light in there. So, this is the other kids' room. Um, did the sea salt still here too, and we just love the way it turned out. This one we didn't do a closet system because we got one for a steel. So, uh, really like the color. Megan, I don't know, she's still working on her. It's growing on me. It'll be okay. And then the ceiling fan. There's a ceiling fan. Oh, yeah. With, so, well, this one doesn't have lights yet. The boys has the light kit on it. The boys have the light kit on it. But this is just one of the, one of the, well, we did ceiling fans everywhere because we use ceiling fans. So, some people don't use ceiling fans. Fine. Come on in here. Uh, kid bathroom. Sea salt. Linen closet looks just like the other one except it's sea salt. Again, kind of hard to show. It's a little bit dark. Um, one detail I want to show you guys, the way they did this corner um, for trim, oh. we, we were really reluctant to keep it the way they did it initially. And what they ended up doing is they just carried the corner all the way in from this. And it, it ended up turning out good. Um, would I say it's perfect? No, because I'm just a perfectionist. So you guys all know that from my videos. <laughs> uh, but it looks good. And they, they turn out good. And then they had to do that here if... I'm surprised our architect didn't catch that sort of detail, but this is kind of a unique thing. Usually the doors um, outside of the main living room are not gonna have all the details on it, but we specifically told the builder when we were starting this project, we said, we want that detail. And we're really glad we did it, because it looks awesome. We're really happy with yeah. it, it looks great. They did a good job on it. Um, if I could have paid a little more to get pine instead of MDF, I would have done it in a heartbeat, but I didn't know that at the time, I wish I would have. Um, come on in. I'm sure we've done a lot more though, so. Yeah. Um, and then this is another room with the sea salt, and it just looks wonderful. We love the color. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell, because the exposure is always questionable on a video like this. Yeah. But you can tell how much, well, maybe you can't tell how much different, but seeing, seeing this in person, just the way the shadows go, it changes the color. It almost looks like a bluish hue. And I love the color. And I'm not sure what it's gonna look like when we've got grass out here and trees that are foliated. Um, I mean, obviously everything is, is in winter mode. So, and then uh, here's the, the tiles for the shower. So this is a ceramic tile. Um, it's called statuary white. It's supposed to resemble like Carrera marble. Carrera marble. Yeah. That's right. And then uh, ceiling fans and things. Again, we're not gonna show you all those. We'll just let you guys wait and see that. Um, if you're following along, obviously it's a pretty detailed build process, but come on in. Um, everything's turning out really good got measured for we're doing quartz in all the bathrooms yep uh, because we don't have any like hot pans we're gonna put on there <laughs> so this is the, the same the this is gonna be an edge piece so we're gonna have this along here and then the seats are gonna be quartz quartz yep. and then this will be all 
Tile. Tile. And then there's going to be, they actually put down, I, I couldn't believe they did this. It was very weird. But they put down tile and they're going to put a, le they're going to build their curb on top of the tile, which I really have no idea why they did that. And I asked the guy, I said, why did you do that? It seems like a waste of money because that's a pretty expensive tile. But I'm sure they had a reason for it. And uh, it's not like it's a zero entry. We don't have handicap accessibility, not to the full extent, but it'd be cool if we did. Um, anyway, so as you guys can see, it looks really nice. Uh, they kind of stopped here. And the guys that built our house do a ton of remodeling. So I think the flooring is one of their specialties and we've been really happy with the way it's turned out. Um, really like the way this turned out. I don't know how well the lighting's gonna be, but the pull down attic access is just, we, we love the way it works. It's super cool to have that access. Um, that R10, that thicker door will keep it from twisting. It's usually very thin and it will twist. And then you don't always get a good purchase on your seal. So we love the way it looks. There's still a little bit of finish to do uh, because the paint doesn't want to dry on the bolt heads. Um, and I'm not sure if they're going to be able to see great. The color. I know the color and the white shelves. Yeah, but we just love the way it looks. Obviously in person you can see, and then we have all the uh, cost oh, rods. Yeah. They're all stained and they're going to be stained just like our uh, wood out there. And they're just pine, so nothing special. And then we'll have white cups to receive them. Yep. It's going to look really nice. So as you probably can imagine, a lot of this is going to get covered by clothes and different items. <laughs> but it's gonna look awesome. No. <laughs> and with that, you pretty much have the update you've been desiring so badly, I'm sure. And uh, obviously, the plane footage is very lacking right now, and I apologize for that. It's probably gonna be that way for a few weeks because we're literally running like 100 hour weeks right now, trying to get everything taken care of between that. And I take this like small break in the middle for work. <laughs> so anyway, uh, guys, come back for more. We really appreciate you uh, sticking around while we work through this process. Obviously, we know you're here for RC stuff, but this is really cool. It's a big part of our lives, and we really wanted to share it with you. And also, we want to go back and look at it later, which is going to be cool. So as you know, check the description. There's stuff you can buy. I think we'll link to probably the stains in case you like the color. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we can really link to the paint, but you know the name, so it's uh, alpaca out there, and then uh, sea salt mm -hmm. in here. And we, we love, I like both of them. The one out there we could have gotten maybe a touch darker, but I think we're gonna be happy to start getting furniture in. Guys, thanks for watching, thanks for being a part of our lives, and uh, thanks for your support. We'll have some more coming soon. And by the way, the weather is still horrific yep. in Iowa. I mean, really bad, it's like minus 15 right now, wind chill. No fun. Can't fly in that. And it's really windy, obviously. So as soon as the weather turns, we'll try to get you some stuff. But until then, like in July, <laughs> you don't need to make it. Come back for more. YouTube, it's Brian Phillips again. We're not done with you just quite yet today. I told you we were going to work on these today, and I wanted to give you a quick preview of what it's going to look like. This is our pantry, mostly for my wife because I love her and she tolerates everything that I put her through. So come on in and you can see what we've got so far. We worked on this today. Um, basically what we've got is these 12 inch shelves that are built in. This, this is going to be an end panel. Of course we can't cut it to size so it's still got wrapped in plastic. And these are going to be stained just like our railing which is a Varthane uh, Kona 50-50 mix with uh, Varthane espresso, right? Yep. And we are going to do poly, a uh, triple coat cover on it, and it's going to look really nice. And what we've got to do yet tonight is, as you can see, they're not shot in, so they're just loose. And what we've got to do is we've got to glue these joints, these little small pieces, the filler strips in. And then uh, there's a filler here and a filler here, and then we have to glue these onto this shelf and this under that shelf. These aren't going to get glued together. They're just being held temporarily. And we're going to have to figure out a support system that can go down and bridge from the top shelf down. And then over here, we're going to do the same thing that will help to hold these. Uh, we could shoot them in with a nail, but we're not 100% sure we want to do that because uh, it's not going to be quite enough. Uh, the shelves themselves probably won't hold themselves up. Uh, so we'll have to have a little bit of weight. And all I've done is just counterweighted these with some broken tiles and things so that they don't sit.
walking. Uh, but just to give you a, a better look of what it, what it kind of looks like. This is just pine, nothing special. You can take a look real quick. And we're really happy with the way it turned out so far. It's going to give us a ton of storage. And we didn't want to block our window. Um, and they're 16 inches on the bottom, the bottom two shelves. And then they are uh, 12, 12, and then 12. But then this part is 16 so that it can hold an over-the-range microwave. And then our fridge will go right here. It's our second fridge in the kitchen. Because we need two fridges in our kitchen now. <laughs> which is pretty sad, but totally true. So that's it guys. Let's show them one last quick look and then we'll go. So thanks for watching. We just wanted to spice it up and do that one little detail. Of course, it's been a long day, so we're done working. Come back for more. Thanks for watching.